Yeah, mine is going to be super quick. Um, so um, we, well, I got pulled into this issue. Um, it was uh, originally for Bradley's client uh, needed to drop some files in Azure Blob Storage. And uh, they wanted to use a flow to basically grab a node attachment that is uploaded from the portal. So someone goes to a portal, uploads a file, it gets stored in Dynamics as a notes, like an attachment. And then from there, it needs to be synced to Azure Blob Storage. Uh, why Azure? I'm not sure, you know, because you, know, you can use SharePoint or some other document management system, but they chose Azure Blob Storage, right? Um, and the files that they, uh, the customers are uploading are pretty massive. And so what was happening was that in the flow, the byte array was getting cut off because apparently for each action in uh, in Power Automate, the uh, maximum number of characters an action will have in an output. Uh, so basically, in kind of simple terms, when it when it the, the flow runs and then you open an action, the output only has X number of characters it accepts. So when you are dealing with like giant files, that's something to be aware of that potentially your byte array might get cut off. Okay. So we run it a couple of times. It was dropping in the file, but the file was getting corrupted, right? Because it doesn't contain the full byte array and the size was incorrect, right? So instead of say 24 megabytes, when it gets there, it'll be like 12 megabytes. So I solicited some ideas from the team and um, this is the approach that I chose. So when the, the node record basically gets created, we actually check for the create in Dynamics. And then within a plugin, we send the attachment to Azure Blob Storage. So we wrote a custom API to basically do that. Uh, so within a custom API, we were getting the full byte array in the Power Automate we weren't. So it's just a kind of a, a way we found around you know, dropping larger files instead of like trying to create a, a uh, like a, a string variable and app appending it or some, you know, interesting approach. We decided to just read it from Dynamics Spider Array and then sending it over. Um, and to do that, we use uh, shared access tokens in container management where you specify the permissions you want and then you generate a SaaS token, a secure access token, SaaS token. And then from the SaaS token, you get a URL that you can just make an HTTP call to. Um, you can set the expiration for the SaaS token um, and then kind of use it in your flow. So in my flow, all I do is once I get the node, obviously I'm doing other things, but I call this document API where I pass in the node ID and then this custom action basically does the dropping. Any questions? Thank you.